Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how I dropship on Facebook Marketplace. So after I've made a tutorial, I've decided to take on a challenge and do a one week of Facebook dropshipping on a brand new account. I'm gonna show you everything A to Z from making no money to making some money, hopefully. So follow along and let's get started. So after watching my tutorial, which if you haven't seen, uh, there is a link up here probably. You already know how to keep track of your listings and how to keep track of your profits. So with all that, you should be all set up and ready to start making some money. For this challenge, I've decided I'll be listing only in the first one or two days. So in day one and day two, I'll be just putting up as many listings as possible. I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy 24 hour nonstop listing spree because I wanna make it realistic. So I'll just dedicate a few hours each day to list as many items as I can and give you my commentary, tell you how I choose products and why. And then we're gonna wait for the next four days and we're just gonna wait what kind of sales we receive from putting up these listings. So I hope that's very clear. There is no reason for me to stop listing on day number two, but I just wanted to make this video. This is a brand new account and it will be easier for me to track the progress. And you also get an idea of what two days work will get you over the course of one week on Facebook Marketplace. I think it will be interesting to see the amount of customer service that we're gonna have to do because that's definitely part of Facebook Marketplace because everybody just wants to know if the item is still available or if uh, where are you located, stuff like that. So that's that. If you have any questions after the fact, don't hesitate to ask. Wait, can you hear that? You hear that, guys? That sounds like dropshipping to me. Okay, I forgot to say a couple of things. So I'll be starting on a brand new account, which I think I've said, but anyway, um, I, which does have the shipping option. And second thing is I'll be using Amazon as a supplier for this project because anybody from my audience probably has access to Amazon. They do have very solid return policy and they offer two-day shipping. At first, I wasn't sure if I'm gonna go with Amazon versus Walmart, but in the end, I've settled for Amazon because it's just more easy for beginners, in my opinion. In the name of efficiency, you want to download the extension called Z-Drop. Uh, it is a $10 per month with a free week trial. I do believe they have an affiliate program, so I'll pop my personalized link in the description below. And if you wanna make me happy, please use it. And I hope you get some benefit as well. It's not just me getting a kickback. So that's it for today. I'm gonna to start a challenge tomorrow and I'll see you in the morning. All right guys, it's the following morning. So we're starting the challenge right now. So I'm gonna show you on my screen how to get this done. So first you need to install the Zdrop Chrome extension. This is what the website is. And here is the pricing. They do have a seven day trial and then you only pay $10 per month. So a great deal. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can just uh, access it straight away. Once you have the extension, you go to amazon.com and you make sure that you have the delivery set to, to some address in the United States. Essentially, you wanna find products that have a big arbitrage potential and essentially a good niche for face marketplace dropshipping is furniture. The reason why is because it's really hard to determine why one chair costs $150 and another chair costs just $70. So, you know, any niche where you can, where it's kind of hard to guess the price of an item is a good niche for Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And let's start straight away with a nightstand. Okay, so we're looking for something cheap. This is pretty good. This is pretty good too. So let's try this one out. So this is a bestseller item. You always wanna double check the reviews. Uh, this product has 4.7 out of five reviews, so it's supposedly very good. Uh, you can scroll down, read the reviews, you can see what people say. And essentially, if you have the extension downloaded, then you'll see this pop-up. So what you wanna do is click on copy to Facebook, copy done, it's gonna open a new window, and then on this page, you'll see this pop-up that's gonna say paste data. So you're just gonna click that. Now in the meantime, you can go back onto the listing, scroll down for the reviews and see if there is any photo that is actually better than, than the main listing photo. Because what I like to do is I like to select a picture from the reviews because most products on Facebook Marketplace are actually people just selling stuff that they have at home. Because I've had a lot of success by just selling and listing items with a regular photo as the main photo of the listing 
just because it fits well with other listings on Facebook Marketplace. So what I would usually do, I mean this photo looks pretty decent to me, so I would just make the selection, screenshot it and then use this as the main photo for the listing. Now this is already loaded up and you wanna kind of adjust some things. So usually I would put the available quantity to 10, get rid of the brand name, keep any keywords. Now when it comes to pricing, it's totally up to you. You can start with lower profit margins if you just want to see some sales come through. However, I would normally price this at about $139 or 129 or something like that. You will see that a lot of people will actually message you to negotiate. So if you're willing to do that and you have some breathing space with, the, with your margins, then you can easily just lower the price for them and, and sell for cheaper. They're happy because they're getting a deal and you're happy because you still get a lot of profit. All right, so category, so this is two nightstands. So we're just gonna try to type it in, nightstands. And you see that nightstands do not have the shipping available. So what you wanna do is find some category that does have the shipping available on it and then just say that, you know, that's what you're, that, that's what you're selling. So we're gonna probably do maybe work tables or antique and collectible tables. This is what I'm gonna go with because it has the shipping available. Now condition always new, brand is optional, you don't have to fill this out and this looks very ugly so I'm just gonna try to simplify this. Also you wanna get rid of any indication or any anything that connects it to any brand. Usually what is important is to keep the measurements in and that's pretty much it. I mean the material, the measurements, just the main key points of what you're selling. What I like to start with is saying something like ships free, lower 48 states only. All right, product tax, you can just use nightstands. Side tables. I mean, you don't have to use the product tax, but if you want to, uh, you know, it certainly does not hurt. And then we're just gonna upload the image that, you can reorganize, you can rearrange the images for sure. Actually, this looks pretty solid as well. This is the image that we got from the review page. Uh, so I'm just gonna set it as the main photo. We can hide it from our friends. It's totally up to you. We click next, shipping only. Use your own and free shipping. And now we're just gonna click next and we're gonna Click next once again, and then we're just gonna publish it, and that's it, a review is done. So this is the process of uploading a listing. I'm just gonna repeat this process 100 times, and then I'm gonna catch up with you again, and let's see what happens. So in the first two days, I made no sales whatsoever, despite me working about five hours and listing nearly 100 products. Now that abruptly changed on day three, when I've made a total of $1,300 in sales, with only selling five items. The total profit on the first day I received any sales was insane $310. The messages quickly started to pour in and that's when you realize just how time intensive dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace is. As the goal is to respond to every single message and as quickly as possible. Day four came in with about $500 in sales and $100 net profit, which is about 25%. This was same as day five when I received another two sales for another $100 profit in total. On day six, I only received one sale. And as you can see, from the first day we started getting sales to now, you know, the sales amount has been decreasing. Now, I've been selling big items for a lot of profit, so it doesn't really bother me that much, but, but going from five sales to one definitely makes a difference. I would simply blame it on the fact that I stopped listing on day number two, which was even before I received any sales whatsoever. Day seven, however, which was the last day of this challenge, I made three sales and scored nearly $200 net profit. All in all, in this first week out of listing 100 products or almost 100 products, I've made 13 sales for a total of nearly $3,000 in sales and incredible $777 in net profit. More than that, I've answered over 100 messages, which considering I've only sold 13 products is an incredibly high amount compared to any other marketplace like eBay or Amazon. But all things considered, especially the margins and that you can just start selling, you have no restrictions whatsoever on your account. It's, you know, it's a good balance. I guess it kind of works itself out. The average profit margin was 30%, which is absolutely insane. I also paid sales tax on some occasions because 
I was not tax exempt in certain states, which certainly cost me like another $50. So I would probably break 800 in net profit in the first week, but that's pretty crazy. I've only listed in the first two days, listed nearly 100 products. And then I was just sitting back, answering messages and fulfilling orders. There is no other platform like it. You're not paying any monthly fees. C drop is only $10 per month. Facebook charges only 5% to facilitate the payment processing. It's pretty insane. I hope you enjoyed the kind of over the shoulder look on how I list products. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, you know, you know where's the comment section. All right.